Kumusta? Welcome to Dash of Spices. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this crispy pork belly using a kasori air fryer. I hope you're going to like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. This is the healthiest way to cook a crispy pork belly using an air fryer. First thing you're going to do is to marinate the pork belly using this marinade ingredients. And you're going to let this sit in the refrigerator overnight. And the next day, using a paper towel or any kitchen cloth or if you have a wide strainer, kitchen strainer, you could use that too. I'm just going to drain any excess marinade from the pork belly. I want it as dry as possible. Just transfer that, put that on top of a paper towel to drain the marinade. The marinade juice. This marinade is really good to marinate any type of meat. This also works with chicken or shrimp if you want to cook it the next day. And there you go, that's the pork belly. Just let that sit on the side. And now let's grab the Kosori air fryer. If you haven't watched my other video about Kusori air fryer, please check that out. So that will give you an idea how to use um, the Kusori air fryer, basic functions of it. I'm going to wrap this with foil, the container that holds the basket. And actually, I regret doing this because as I mentioned on my Kusori air fryer review, the basket got stuck. It got stuck and I had a hard time pulling it out to drain the, the oil. And just put that basket and make sure it clicks so when it clicks that means it's secured and I'm just going to preheat this Kusori air fryer within five minutes on a 400 degrees also I spray it with the nonstick spray that's optional but I sprayed it anyways uh, it was suggested on a manual so just set that to 400 degrees um, five minutes now the Kusori air fryer is ready I'm ready to put this meat onto the basket and start cooking them this took me less than an hour to cook the crispy pork belly which if i do this in the oven it will take me about two hours so the air fryer actually cut the cooking time half of the normal cooking time using a oven a traditional oven so just transfer that lay that flat into the basket it's okay if they're like crowded because the, this meat will start shrinking. As soon as it start cooking, the meat will start shrinking because the oil start dissolving. So the oil starts separating from the meat because of the heat from the air fryer. So the air fryer is the healthiest way to go when you're trying to fry or do a crispy fried uh, recipe any of any meat. So just lay that flat, just like that. And now this ready to go into the Kusori air fryer. Make sure it click when you push it. And now let's set the power into 370 degrees heat. Just push that add button or the plus button. And now the time I'm going to set it on 15 minutes and just let it cook after 15 minutes as you can see there's a lot of oil from the pork belly and some of those too is from the marinade so now I'm going to drain the oil from the basket or from the container pour it into a mug or any container that you use as you can see right here, I was having a hard time removing the basket. So I just grab a paper towel, uh, a plate with a paper towel, and just transfer the pork belly to it. And so I could drain the oil safely. Make sure don't burn yourself. Again, this is because I use, I wrap it with uh, foil. This normally don't happen. This is the tent recipe 
that the uh, dish that I used uh, using Ecosori, see how messy it was. It never this messy. Um, so I'm not going to use a foil anymore <laughs> when I use the Ecosori air fryer. So now I'll just put that meat back into the basket and I'm going to let this cook again for another 15 minutes. So still the same heat, 370 degrees and just let it sit until it's done. And now you could do any stuff that you could do within 15 minutes. Maybe do your laundry or something. This is the only good thing using this air fryer is you could multitask while it's cooking. Perfect for a busy mom like me. Now after 15 minutes, as you could see, the color changes already. It looks like it's done. This is actually done right now, but I want my pork belly to be crispy crispy so I'm just gonna flip this on the other side as you can see the other side of it is not really that brown so I just flip that and then I'm gonna put this back in a kosori and I let this cook for another 10 minutes the same temperature 370 degrees and I'm cooking it with 10 for 10 minutes more now after 10 minutes as you can see it starts getting darker brown but still I want it crispy it's already crispy but I want it more crispy I could still see some oil so I'm cooking this extra five more minutes and that's it that should be done here you go this is the last pace of the cooking of the pork belly and I like how it turned out this right here the texture of the meat I think it's perfect so I don't want to cook it any more longer and just transfer it to a serving plate you can actually hear it as soon as it drops into the plate that it's the, this pork belly is crispy as you can see the oil is still bubbling that means this is super hot so very, very extra extra careful and there you go there is the crispy pork belly also I got this pre-sliced pork belly at Costco so check out Costco guys you could actually hear the cracking right here. Excuse me. <laughs> I just want you guys to hear how crispy it was, the pork belly. There you go. And serve it with the soy sauce and vinegar. This is a vinegar soy sauce ginger sauce with chilies if you want to know how I made this dipping sauce leave me a comment below I could give you the recipe and how I made that sauce I hope you guys like this video again this is the healthiest way to make a crispy pork belly and I like how it turned out I like how all the oils are gone actually from the pork belly so it's a healthy way to do a crispy fried dish or a recipe thank you guys for watching dash of spices until next time ciao